What's up Star Wars fans, welcome to the second of three in a little series of SH Figure Arts action figure reviews. Just reviewed Luke Skywalker, now we're on to Han Solo. Coming up will be Princess Leia uh, in their New Hope looks. Um, let's have a quick look at the box before we look at the figure. Um, again, standard looking box, Han Solo on the front. Picture of Han on the side. Some pictures on the back, which look great. And that's pretty much the box. Nice simple stuff from Bandai. So let's get a look at the figure. Now the likeness isn't quite there on this one. It's It, it looks bang on in some lights, in other lights not so much. Um, it's pretty close. Um, but again, yeah, it's not, it's not quite there. It still looks good. Um, I, I like it a lot, but... Yeah, it's not quite the same. Um, I think Hasbro's done a good job of their Bespin, Bespin Han Solo recently. And that probably takes the cake at the moment, but this one's still good. I still really like this figure. Big Han Solo fan, as most of you know. Um, I'm really on the hunt for the New Hope Chewbacca now. He's becoming quite, quite pricey. Um, so hopefully I can track him down to go with this Han Solo. But uh, yeah, we'll get a quick look around. So as you can sort of see in some lights, it's it's a good likeness. In other lights, it's just not quite there. Um, but it still looks like Han Solo. Done a good job with the hair. And the rest of the figure is pretty, pretty damn good. I like the vest. This is being a separate piece. Of course, you, you can remove that, but it opens up and it shows out those joints. And I like the open shirt. Need a bit of a bit of shading for that chest hair. <laughs> I like he's got the sleeves up a little bit. I like that his shirt's not a bright white, it's sort of a dirty, sort of a dirty beige colour. All the bits and pieces on his, on his gun belt look great. All the little buckles, pouches, little, little things he's carrying around. Again, the buckles on the back. The belt slots into his backside there. Just That just allows a little bit extra flexibility in that leg when it's moving. And there goes part of his holster, which is workable. And I'll explain how in just a moment. Comes with his DL-44 blaster pistol. Which again, nicely detailed. Uh, they missed a bit of silver paint on the, on the end of the blaster there. But that's okay, that could be easily touched up with a Sharpie, which I might just do myself. Um... Accessory wise, he comes with a pair of these, I'll just call them relaxed hands, Han's hands, one blaster hand like that, of course he only needs one because he is a right handed shooter and he's not going to pull the gun out of the holster on the other side. So. Uh, two, two fists and two sort of relaxed gloved hands which is a nice addition too they look good now as I was mentioning with the holster this does pop out so you've got you know that's just a, that's just a molded a molded piece uh, you can't do anything with that We've got this sort of soft plastic bit here with the peg in his leg. Now it's up to you with the display options. Then we've got this molded holster with the DL44 in there. And you can just slot that in like that. Take the blaster out of his hand and you've got a holstered Han Solo action figure as well. So that's really nicely done. Uh, very similar to what they did with the Django Fett. 
um, giving you a couple of options without having to squeeze the blaster into the holster and you know risk breaking the weapon but you know he's got to be he's got to be ready for action so I've, I've got him holding the blaster there's black boots down the bottom there the Carillion blood stripe up the leg I really like that design I think that's really cool If you look closely, you can sort of see sort of worn look, that sort of crease leather look down the down the holster there. That looks good. It's the moulding on the back of the jacket looks good. The vest, and just the just the creases and stuff in the shirt looks really good. So another figure I'm really impressed with, despite the lightness, probably being 90% there, 10% not there. Um, I'm still really happy with it. It's a good figure. I want Chewie to go with him. Um, so if you know anyone who's getting rid of a Chewie, not the solo version, the New Hope version, drop me a message. I'll be, I'll be interested. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Let me know in the comments what you think of this one. And I'll be back with Princess Leia in my next video. So until then, may the force be with you.